The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the exporting and the importing of a custom theme using the command line. As a summary, the steps that I will take is to export a custom theme from an existing Jasper Report Server 6.3 Oracle instance using the command line and importing that custom theme into a JRS 6.3 Postgres instance using the command line. Uh, the final step is to set the custom theme to be the active theme. The commands have been provided here, which will be the commands that I'll be using during this session. I have logged into the target instance running on Postgres and navigated to the themes folder structure. As you can see, the custom underscore themes folder is not shown here. So the purpose of this video is to import in the custom theme using the command line into this instance. Before you can export a custom theme using command line, it is necessary to know the full path to where the custom theme folder resides. In order to find this out, log into the source database as super user and navigate to the themes folder structure. Then right click on custom underscore theme and click on properties. The full path is located under the path element. Exporting a custom theme can also be done through the user interface by right clicking on it and click on export. However, this video will demonstrate the alternative, which is to use the command line, and we will not explore this option. The command line utilities are located underneath the buildomatic directory of the Jasper Reports server instance. As you can see here, we'll be using the js-and.bat utility to export out into a designated directory the custom underscore themes by giving the full path to where the custom themes resides. For simplicity's sake, I have entered in the full command line into a bat script and I will just run the export theme.bat. This will take about a minute for it to complete. It is, important, it is important to note that the server must be brought down before you can run an export and import command. This is to avoid any conflicts in the cache and in the configuration of the custom themes. The next step is to run the import command the import command can be ran from the target server. Navigate to the build domatic directory and run the jazz antbat import and followed by the location of the exported file. This will take about a minute. After the import is complete, you can now log on to the target instance as Jasper Admin. As you can see now, the custom underscore theme has been imported. In order to make the custom underscore theme the active theme, right click and go to set as active theme. Then log out. Now if I log on as a different user for the organization, for example Joe user, I will also see the new theme. The custom theme can also be updated using a SQL statement. However, this is not a supported approach 
and hence I will not demonstrate this approach. The recommended method is through the user interface. The backend approach can be helpful in situations where there are a lot of instances. However, it can lead to errors if not done correctly. I have provided the update statement. However, I encourage you to fully test this out. This concludes my demonstration. Thank you.